I do feel a little bad for New England Patriots fans sometimes. And then I remember they've won six Super Bowls in the past 24 years or so. I don't feel so bad anymore. But the decision to draft Cole Strains from Tennessee Chattanooga in the first round is is mind-boggling. I mean, he went 29th overall to New England Patriots. This guy is a guard center prospect. This past year he played primarily left guard and left tackle, but he's a guard slash center prospect. He played a little center at the Senior Bowl uh, where he did not perform that well, to be honest. I mean, at the Senior Bowl, I don't think he ever lost to the same players twice except for Travis Jones, who just basically threw him every time he played against him. Uh, but he did lose quite a bit. Like, he lost basically every time he faced a defensive player for the first time. Cole Strange is not necessarily even a scheme fit for New England. He's a fairly light player in terms of weight. He's 307 pounds, 6 to 5, 307 pounds, 33-inch arms. The Patriots love to have these big guys up front, the Shaq Masons, the really bulky guys who are going to be really good in the running game. They might go on one use, the Isaiah wins. And that is not Cole Strange. So I'm a little curious to see what they're going to do with Cole Strange because this is not really his game. This past year, was I mean, he's pretty good. Only five pressures in one sack allowed this past year while playing left guard and left tackle. He did have six penalties, but I mean, that's still pretty good production. Uh, I, I just, man, it's hard to get behind this pick. I really don't understand it. He was also born in 1998. He's going to be 24 years old this season. Uh, so it's it's difficult to get behind the selection because really this is a guy who I had great as a third-round pick. He was my interior offensive line number nine this year. Beyond Sean Ryan from UCLA, Luke Gadecki from Central Michigan, those guys were third-round selections. Dylan Parham and Darren Kennard as late second-round selections. Jeremiah Salyer and Kenyon Green as late first or early second-round selections. And, of course, Zion Johnson and Tyler Lindenbaum. So I, I don't know Cole Strange. I mean, I just he's an elite movement guy. His testing skills are phenomenal for movement and for explosiveness. But again, he lacks the sand in the pants. He lacks the actual power in his lower body to hold up against these guys. And frankly, his arm length is not that great for an offensive lineman. I, I just don't know him. He's not really super built yet to be an NFL player in terms of starting day one, which is why I, what I assume the Patriots would draft him to do. He needs to add probably 15 to 20 pounds of muscle to be ready to start. But hey, you know, Bill Belichick knows what he's doing, usually. Although in the draft, he might say otherwise. Just his draft history is not great. And yet another odd selection by the New England Patriots as we come to a close here in the first round of the 2022 NFL Draft.